Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about two great truck camper shell tents under $200. The first one that I'm going to talk about is the Ozark Trail SUV tent. So this one here in the picture and I picked it up from Walmart. Well, I didn't pick it up, I had to order it online, they didn't have it in store. For about $100, yeah, so for about $100 you get this tent, which uh, doesn't quite look as it should, so I modified the setup a little bit. So what did I modify? The flyer that goes over the tent is actually reversed, so... Uh, the front is the back and the back is the front. I also used different tent poles and I also used straps that didn't come with the tent. And as you can see on my truck, I have roof racks that uh, make it a little bit easier to set up this tent. If you don't have roof racks, then you need to find some places to tie it down to your car. Maybe somewhere further down uh, next to the door or something. Uh, don't tie it to the door, otherwise you won't be able to open the door anymore. And if you do that, I would recommend you use some like plastic hooks or something so to not scratch up your truck. Unless your truck is already pretty scratched up, then it doesn't matter, I guess. So what I'm using here is a tent rope tensioner and I'm leaving you all the links in the video description below and tarp clips. So the tarp clips I actually picked up at uh, Harbor Freight Tools, but you can order them online or anywhere. And that gives me uh, plenty of different possibilities to tie down the, the tent or the flyer itself. The um, flyer, the reason why I reversed it, why the front is the back and the back is the front, is that usually what's now covering the truck and gives me also a nice rain protection is the awning. So you're supposed to put another um, set of tent, not a set, but a single tent pole through the awning to have some, some kind of rain protection when you exit the door or something. I don't really need that, so in case it would rain, I would rather set up a tarp or something. And I'd uh, rather not have to deal with uh, extra tent pole. And also I uh, really like the extra door that the reverse side gives me, which is now um, again in the front of the tent where I'm entering and exiting the tent. So what that does is that um, I don't really like the, the door set up, you know, this round shaped door that um, is attached or the hinge, so to say, is on the side which makes it a little bit annoying to deal with it. If, you, if you're in a phase of your camping where you enter and exit the tent quite frequently. So I really love the flap of the back door. What that is supposed to do is that if you set the tent up with a flyer, with uh, no SUV or truck or something attached to it, then you have a hole <laughs> basically where the truck door is. And so the, the flyer here, the back door is supposed to cover that hole. And again, for me, since I'm using that reversed, uh, it's basically the main door. Although I would recommend if you do that, like me, I, I would recommend to use the regular door if you're, if you're staying in the tent for longer or if you're leaving the tent out there to go to the restroom or something, because otherwise animals can easily crawl under the tarp and enter the tent, especially if you have something, uh, some food or something in there. <laughs> um, yeah, the tent poles itself, um, I replaced those with uh, standard re replacement tent poles. Again, I'm going to leave you the link in the description below. The reason why I did that is that the original tent poles are pretty horrible in, in a sense that they have these outside lying joints. So when you fiddle them in through the loops, they will get in inevitably will get stuck there. And especially if you try to remove the tent poles later, it's such, such a pain. Maybe it's just my technique that isn't really good. I don't know, but I ordered those replacement tent poles. It's 20 feet poles you need for that, that slide really nicely through the loops and hoops because they um, don't have outside joints, but inside lying joints. So they're very flush and um, they're sliding right through at the outside. So, um, that also results in a different shape of the tent. So the tent looks rather wobbly in my setup here. So originally the, the tent poles, they, the tent looks more like the, the product picture itself. So they have some kind of light slight angle in them. And they're also, yeah, making the tent a little bit um, more, I don't know, more chubby, a little bit bigger, a little bit um, stretched out. So uh, if, you, if you care about the looks of the tent, then don't replace the tent bolts like I did. If, if you care about a fast setup, then I would suggest investing the extra $40 to go with the lighter tent bolts that don't have the angle. 
Um, the, the tent itself, uh, I have to say I really love the tent. So I, I kind of purchased that to just check it out for hundred dollar. You know, I thought let's, let's see how the tent is. And then I set it up with the original tent poles. It was such a pain. And I also made the, the mistake to also set up the, the awning and all that. So it was really annoying. And I thought, hey, I'm not going to do that again. Then I did a camping trip with my kids and they slept on the truck bed and I slept in the tent actually. And I'm, since then I'm so excited about that tent. Wherever I can for my camping needs, I will set up this tent with my truck. And the reason is that you have the space to move around. So compared to the other, the second tent that I'm going to show you, you have a lot of space to move around, to change clothes, to sit on the truck door actually. Um, you have a second bed, the room for a second bed. So it's just awesome. It just gives you this nice feeling that you can crawl out of your truck bed space and actually stand up in, in, the, in your privacy of, of your own tent. So I really love it. I, I can really recommend it. It was the best hundred dollar I ever spent. Um, also, it gives you a really nice seal around the truck bed. So um, in that case, um, I'm gonna show you in a second, you need to pull up the tent a little bit. The downside though is it has a really big footprint and you cannot use it when you have a trailer attached to the truck. So, um, and the, some campsites that are not long enough to accommodate your truck and a tent right behind the truck might be a problem. I've seen some campsites here in Pinnacles National Park as well that have these vertical poles right behind where you would park. So that would be an issue too. But on campsites like that, and most of the campsites, I guess this tent would work beautifully. I'm just saying you probably need to have a backup uh, in case you want to incorporate your truck. I mean, again, you can set this tent up without a truck attached with the flyer reversed. Let's remove the flyer and take a look at the tent. That's the tent without the flyer. So you can clearly see now how it's set up. And again, I have to stress out the really nice tight seal that it makes around the truck. So there's no water coming in. There's no um, bugs crawling in or mosquitoes flying in or anything like that. And how I achieved that was that I pulled the tent up further to the truck than it's supposed to be. I mean, you can clearly see how the front foots of the tent uh, are hanging in the air and how the bottom of the tent is pulled up a little bit. But that really doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't impact the usage of the tent. And what it does is it, uh, it decreases the chance of the sharp edges of your truck camper shell door. I mean, the window up there, the upper door scratching or ripping up the tent and also it uh, gives you this nice tight seal and again I have to stress out the rope tensioner and the top clip that I'm working with to tie down the tent to the truck and stretch it over the truck because it's quite a tight seal. I can't imagine that you could use the tent with a um, XXL camper shell you know these higher camper shells I mean this is an F-150 obviously with a normal Lear 100R or 100XR or whatever that camper shell model is. So it doesn't have a big um, opening or anything, just a regular opening. And it fits nicely over the, this opening, but it's, it's kind of a stretch. So, and again, you have to pull it as far over the truck that the whole door is inside the tent. Three things that I would recommend that you get when you use this tent is um, to use these wooden poles here. I mean, those are just uh, wooden poles that I purchased from Home Depot and cut them to a size. And um, I also used two rubber bands to stick them or to attach them to the camper shell window, the camper shell door. So otherwise they tend to fall into the, the truck um, if you lift up one side or you touch it with your head or something. And also what I would recommend is that you get some uh, zipper pulls that I haven't attached them yet, but the manufacturer doesn't give you any zipper pulls. It might uh, make fiddling with the door uh, much easier. What I'm also doing with all my tents is I'm not using the manufacturer pouch unless I'm going to store them for years to come or something. Um, if I regularly use this tent, I just purchased a plastic box from Walmart and I'm just squeezing the tent into the plastic box. It's much easier than trying to roll it up and make it fit into the manufacturer pouch. Yeah, the quality of the tent is, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do, but I would say it's not the best quality. So that really reflects the only $100 that you have to pay to get this tent. 
There are a few other SUV tents out there on Amazon, which obviously I haven't tested, so I don't know how well they work with truck camper shells. But um, if you're planning to use a tent more frequently, uh, more than like, I don't know, four or five times a year, I would, uh, I would suggest looking into those two or $300 tents. I mean, this is a $100 tent and the detail quality really reflects that. I mean, nothing has broken yet or, but I mean, it's, it's not really the best quality. I'm gonna pack up the Ozark Trail SUV tent and I'm gonna show you the next great tent for the truck. That's the DAC tent, which I have in this box in front of me. So the second tent that I'm using here is the DAC tent or DAC tent from Amazon. That is the full-size version. And if in doubt, I would recommend to order the full-size version since you are able to fit it around a smaller truck. But this, this one here on my standard F-150 and on the standard camper shell is already a kind of a tight fit. So I would assume that if you have a bigger truck, it won't really fit. So I also have roof racks on, on my truck, as you can see. So that means I cannot use the... A bungee cord that comes with the tent in the top section so I need to fold it up roll it up a little bit and use those uh, tarp clips and the tent rope tensioner again I'm going to leave you links in the um, video description below I'd rather use those tarp clips anyway the, the bungee cords they really never really perfectly fit uh, they never perfectly uh, tension or tight tighten up the tent and I Assume they are the first thing that will fail over the years with this tent. Um, I mean, those bungee cords never really last that long. And I don't really like how the manufacturer sewed them into the fabric instead of just giving you like a, a buckle clip or something to use your own tent rope tensioner or bungee cord or something. So I don't think that that was a good solution. But anyway, here it is. Um, I would also add zipper pulls. These zippers are a little bit cumbersome to operate, especially the privacy door, the main door. If you're inside already, it's really tough to pull it over the edges, the lower edges down at the bottom. So if I crawl into the tent, um, I'm always closing that section before when I'm outside and the zipper pulls definitely help. I would also add rings and carabiners for the um, straps that hold up the the main door so the tightening it down with a with a knot is a little bit annoying every time you use them so I think the carabiner and the ring really helps you can also use two carabiners you also need as with the other tent wooden sticks or anything that keeps up your door so um, those gas um, hinges, those gas things that won't be able to hold up the door. The window section of your camper shell, you definitely need something to hold it up. Um, also, it doesn't give you a tight seal. I mean, it gives you a tight seal on the top part and on the sides, but not on the bottom part, the part of the tent that goes around the door. So you will have between the truck light and the truck door, the lower door, you will have a huge gap where bugs can crawl in and mosquitoes can fly in. So what I do is I use towels. I would use like two mid-sized towels to uh, make the seal a little bit tighter, although it won't be 100%. What I really like about this tent is the fast setup and the small storage requirements when it's folded up. You can basically, if you want to, leave it in your truck. It also has a very small footprint. I mean, it's not really stealth camping or anything by any means, but you can have a trailer connected to the truck and still use that tent and it um, it's really it doesn't really need much space so you can really fit in in very tight camping spots with your truck and uh, again it won't work for oversized camper shells or SUVs so it definitely won't work for SUV doors unless it's a very small door I don't know but I would say it doesn't work for SUVs at all it's, it's meant for a truck camper shell and uh, yeah so I would say the quality overall is really good. I mean, I didn't like the bungee cords that much. I don't really like the zippers that they didn't give you any pulls for that. I mean, there's an easy fix. And the way the door, the main door goes around the, the main, um, the entrance section. So I don't really like that too much. And as with the other tent, I'm keeping it in the storage box. It's much easier to fold it up and not make it fit into the manufacturer pouch. And I can keep my accessories, my towels and all that stuff that everything that I need for the setup of the tent in the box. Yeah, that's my video. Uh, I hope it helped a little bit. Both are great tents for different purposes. I can recommend them both and they are pretty cheap. So um, yeah, it's nothing to go wrong when you're ordering these tents.